<laughs> Hi there. Um, I haven't made one of these videos in a long time, but I thought today would be a good day to do that. And you know who this is. And today is the 2nd of February, 2015. And today is, or was, I should say, today was my first day out at work. This is what I wore, uh, a nice little ensemble. I've had pictures of it, here you go, nice polka dots. Nice polka dot ensemble with uh, black trousers, I actually charcoal gray trousers. And I wore my gray wedge uh, pumps. I'll have pictures of that all. But I thought, I wanted to tell everyone how it went today. And it went magnificently. No one really cared. Uh, the people who were going to talk to me, talked to me. The people who didn't, didn't, you know. All of them asked what they wanted to call me. You know, they said, well, what should we call you now? I told them my name. I said, this, my chosen name will be Cassidy. That'll be my legal name one of these days. And uh, everyone was nice to me. Uh, the office manager came in and checked in with me early in the morning. And then he came back in the afternoon to see how things were going, see if I'd been running into any problems. My manager checked with me a couple of times to make certain that everything was going well. Uh, I even joked we had a meeting early on to meet the new woman who was coming on board and I looked and there were uh, three women and two guys last week it would have been the other way around or it would have appeared that way and I said oh look the women finally outnumber the men it, uh, it got a bit of a chuckle from the women it did not get a <laughs> chuckle from the men gee I wonder why um, it's funny uh, because that happened. Normally, actually, it would be uh, three on three. But today was ultimately liberating. I mean, I went in with a bit of nerves. Can't be helped. I was nervous. Uh, I was more nervous over the last couple of weeks than I wanted to admit. It was affecting my sleep. It was affecting my writing. Last night, as I told one person, I said, I went to bed about 11 o'clock, I was up at 12.30, and then I was up at 1.30, and then I was up at like uh, 2.45, went back to bed at 3.15, and then woke up again when the alarm went off at 5.15 in the morning. I know now that I can get my makeup on in 15 minutes and be ready to go out the door because I keep everything as natural as possible as you can see. I'm still wearing all the makeup I had on from this morning with the exception of uh, my lips. The gloss and the lipstick are all gone. That can't be helped. There's my charm bracelet, everybody. Nobody said anything about the fact that every time I move my hand, tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. What's really liberating about this day though what's liberating about what's happened is what you're seeing right now. I've just come through the door maybe five minutes ago. I'm starting up the computer. It's still coming up. It's been coming up for a little over five minutes now. And I don't have to get ready. I don't have to walk in the door and put on my wig and put on fresh makeup and everything else if I want to go out. Now, if I want to go out, I can either come in, change my clothes real quick, freshen my makeup, put on a little gloss, if nothing else, or I can just head straight to the garage, get in my car, and go do something, depending on how I'm dressed for work. I don't have to come home and get ready, and that's what's liberating, is now that I'm Cassidy 24-7, I have the same freedom to be who I am that every woman has. 
there's a, a joke we use in the trans community. Um, how do you tell the difference between a cis woman and a trans woman? A cis woman comes home from work, takes off her bra, and settles in. A uh, trans woman comes home from work, puts on her bra, and gets ready to go out. I'm not a trans woman anymore. I'm a woman. So I can come home from work, and if I want to go out, all I got to do is make a few preparations, and in 10 minutes I'm out the door. Or I'm just going straight out to wherever I want to go right after work. And if I feel like taking my bra off and staying in for the evening, I can take my bra off and stay in for the evening. I'm done. I'm just ready to go. And that's it. So this week, I get to try out all my new outfits. I get to try out most of my new shoes. I wore my walking shoes today. Tomorrow's supposed to be really cold, so I'll probably wear my Fugs into work. I'm thinking I'm going to wear my purple sweater, not the Cardi I have on right now, but my actual purple sweater, and the same trousers, and probably my black flats. I don't know. I might. I don't think I'm going to wear my boots yet, because these trousers really are not, you know, designed for boots, and I don't have, uh, I would really kind of need a nice dress pair of boots with these. Besides, the slacks are cut in such a way that they'd look ridiculous if you stuff them in boots. Uh, for office work. So I think I'll just wear my black flats tomorrow and maybe my charcoal socks to go with them to keep my feet warm. And then Wednesday, because Wednesday is pink and the hodge day, uh, I have something with some pink in it that I'll wear and I'll wear my uh, black trousers and I will probably wear my Mary Janes and I'll wear pink lipstick. I want to thank everyone in the HodgePodge Crochet group who has been giving me an enormous amount of support for not just the last few days or the last few weeks or the last few months or even as I wrote in a post a couple of weeks ago for the last year. There are some of you that have been there for me all the time. And uh, one of the things I wish I could do today would be to go out and uh, celebrate with someone. They know who they are. It's not possible, but if not today, maybe one day. You guys are really my family. More so than anyone else, even my real family. And uh, I'm always there for you if I can. If I can do something, I will. Because, you know, as our ninja hooker once said, we're Ohana. And family sticks together. Despite what a few people might say in terms of um, making nasty comments about the... Uh, supposed light bigotries of some individuals. You're not. You never have been. You never will be to me. And uh, I love you for it. So, this is me signing off. And I'll keep you all apprised of what happens this week because this is the one that's going to keep me excited. After this, it'll be like, I gotta get dressed and go to work now. <laughs> I'll be like every other woman going into the office and uh, complaining about the fact that my feet start. My feet did actually, just for the record, uh, my feet did start hurting about 
2.30 or so this afternoon and I had to slip my shoes off and just sit at my desk in my bare feet because my toes were starting to hurt and the balls of my feet. But uh, I will say too that the way they have the floor set up in our office, those size 11 wedges make some noise when I come walking. All you could hear was, I remember the first time I walked out to get coffee, I could hear thump, thump, thump. And I was like, oh God. There's no way I'm going to sneak past anyone. So just let it shine, you know, let it hang out. And today I did. Today it was all about being who I am. And now that that's out there, there just ain't any going back. And to be honest, why would I want to? Take care. Have fun. Whoops. Whoops. Kicking the camera here. Sorry about that. Have fun and I'll keep in touch. Bye.